Hello, my name is Michael Anasa, and I'm the lead technical writer for Synergy Advisors. Today I'd like to show you how you can use the new departmental templates feature to provide different sets of Azure RMS rights policy templates to different groups of users. First, in case you are new to the solution, let's talk about Microsoft Azure RMS. It's a service hosted by Microsoft in the cloud that protects sensitive information from unauthorized use. Azure RMS is a standalone offering that can function with or without the Office 365 service. Unlike traditional protection methods such as firewalls and ACLs, Microsoft RMS service protection is persistent. It remains with the information no matter where it goes or how it is transported. Content authors can determine both which users are authorized to access a certain piece of content and also what they are authorized to do with that content. For example, a content author might dictate that a certain group can open but cannot copy, edit, or print a sensitive document. RMS is also available as an on-premises offering called ADRMS. Rights policy templates are centrally defined permission policies created and managed by you as the administrator, and they are published to end users to use to protect content. If you are familiar with Azure RMS, you know that each tenant is configured with two built-in templates. You can also create custom templates to more effectively meet your organization information protection needs. These templates can be created according to your existing information classification structure, and you can see a few examples of what our customers have done in the past. However, notice that each of these examples show an enterprise-wide classification structure. What if your organization has specific departmental or project classifications? Now, with the new departmental templates feature, you, as the administrator, can configure which of your users can see which rights policy templates, thereby presenting different lists of rights policy templates to different users in the organization. For example, perhaps you would like to create and distribute a set of rights policy templates to only those users within a particular organizational department. Other users outside that department would not see those templates, which are not for use in their jobs. This makes the template management process easier for you as the administrator and enables you to more sharply refine your information protection strategy. And it makes the protection process easier and less confusing on your end users. Before you begin, you should have an existing and configured Azure RMS tenant. Let's start at the Azure RMS management portal, where I have previously created some rights policy templates for my organization. In my organization, we have classified information as having high, medium, and low business impact. I have created corresponding templates for each of these classifications and distributed them to each user in my organization. Additionally, the legal team must have their own rights policy templates for use in their department. Only people in the legal department should be able to assign the legal templates to content, and people in both the legal department and the executive groups should be able to view content protected with these policies. I'm creating two new custom rights policy templates. Both templates will protect information exclusively from members of the legal group and executives. One will grant view permissions to content, while another template will offer a more relaxed permission policy. Now I'll add the users and groups which are authorized to open content protected with this particular rights policy template. These users and groups come from my Azure Active Directory tenant, which has been synchronized from my on-premises Active Directory. I'll perform the same steps with the second template. In this template, I'll select Viewer Permissions. OK, before we publish the new templates, let's scope them to the legal department. In our example here, only members of the legal department can view content protected with these templates, and therefore it makes sense to limit the application of the template by authors who are in the legal department. I'll select one of the templates and select the new scope option. Currently this feature is in preview, but will move into production soon. On both templates, I'll select my legal group and click the option to confirm.
Once this is complete, members of the legal department will see our two new templates, in addition to the previously created templates we already have in place in the organization. Users who are not members of the legal group will continue to see only the templates they saw before. However, we still have a couple of steps to complete. First, we need to publish the two new templates, so let's head to the Configure option of each template and select the Publish option. In applications to support departmental templates directly, such as the RMS Sharing app, templates will be automatically propagated to users according to the scope of that template. In other applications, you can use a template deployment script to achieve the same results. Depending on when you are watching this video, you may need to install a hotfix to support departmental templates in Office applications. Okay, now let's take a look at this from the perspective of the end user. I have forced the template propagation already. First, we're logging in as a user outside of the legal department. Notice that this user sees the LBI, MBI, and HBI templates, but does not see the template specific for the legal department. This is true for all RMS-aware applications, including Office, Outlook, and the RMS app. Now let's log in as another user who is a member of the legal group. He will protect an office document that he has just finished. Notice that he sees the LBI, MBI, and HBI templates, and he also sees the two new templates we created exclusively for the legal department. Okay, I've just demonstrated how you can use the new departmental templates feature to provide different sets of rights policy templates to different users. This new feature can help you more finely tune your information protection configuration to fit the particular needs of your organization. For more information about RMS, please see our other videos at youtube.com slash Synergy Advisors. At Synergy Advisors, we design and deploy RMS architectures for enterprise level customers. If you are interested in learning how RMS can help you solve your information protection needs, visit our webpage at synergyadvisors.biz. We also post a monthly newsletter filled with the latest updates across the Microsoft Identity and Security products. If you would like to sign up, please email us at info at synergyadvisors.biz. Thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful.